Hi cozy friends, welcome or welcome back to the Cozy Hermit channel, Lynn here. And it is already December the 14th today. I can't believe we're already like halfway December. Christmas is like a little over a week away from us. I can't believe it. <laughs> Time is flying by so fast. But I have to say that December has been really good so far for me. For me, December is not just a month of coziness and just like celebrating the holidays, but it's also a month of reflection for me. And I always like to look back at the past year and just see like, I don't know, where did I grow as a person? Um, what are things that didn't really go too well and which I'd like to change in the new year that's ahead of me? And this year, well, as you all know, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but this year has been rough. Um, and it already was pretty rough in January, like at the end of January when my grandmother passed away. And I realized lately, while I was like reflecting on this past year, I realized that I have been feeling tired and just not just physically, but most of all mentally tired ever since the end of January. And yeah, it kind of makes sense. So finally starting to make sense why I had such mood swings this year. Like I am a pretty emotional person and sometimes anxiety can get the best of me. But at the start of this year, one of my new year's resolutions was to be less anxious about, you know, things I want to achieve and about life in general. Um, that didn't go very well this year, <laughs> but I know why. I know I know what's the reason behind it. And I just, like I said, realized how tired I've been this entire year. And that's not very helpful mentally either, is it? But ever since I realized that, it was like just a few days ago when this realization came to me. And yeah, I was like, I am missing that fire. Like usually I'm a very... You know, I'm actually, if I, if I need to describe myself, I am very passionate. I'm like crazily passionate about things I care about, about things I want to achieve, uh, about video games, whatever. And I realized I was missing that fire like most of this year. Um, but I think that by realizing this, I, I am slowly finding my way back to, to the person I actually am and who I want to be. And I'm already feeling so much better. Like yesterday, I, I worked all day on finishing last week's vlog about Natsuki, which you've probably already seen. And if not, be sure to check it out because it's really cute. But anyway, um, I worked all day on that vlog and I was pretty tired by the time it was dinner time, but I still had a little bit of time left. And um, usually like last year, I would be like so exhausted. I didn't want to do anything else. Like even if I would have 30 minutes to spare, I... I just couldn't get myself to do something extra and if I did I would end up with, with a headache and I would feel pretty awful for the rest of the night. Yesterday I was like you know I am pretty tired but let's let's make something else too let's make a short and just by just doing it and just like kicking myself in the butt like come on it is not that much work it is not that exhausting. I finished that short for YouTube under 10 minutes I had it done I had it rendered I had it uploaded to YouTube and that was it. And I felt actually super duper energized afterwards. So yeah, that felt really, really good. Like to be honest, by the time I got to bed, I was so exhausted. I collapsed into my bed and just promptly fell asleep. And I didn't know anything until I woke up this morning. But I'm still feeling really good about it. And it just kind of realized that fire that I'm like, yeah, I, I still got way more energy inside of me. And I think it's coming back. I think it's coming back. And I'm excited to make 2024 a, a year that is full of energy and just, you know, wanting to achieve things and just having fun along the way. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. But anyway, it's still December. I'm still, you know, trying to take it a little bit slow. So that said, today I am enjoying a day off. And um, yeah, I'm just going to hang out. I'm going to read more of my book. I'm still reading Abroad in Japan. And it is such a fun book. But it's also, it's not just funny, but it's also very informative. So it's very interesting. So I'm really, really enjoying his book. And I'm already over halfway. So I'll probably finish it, I think, by this weekend. And then I can start on my second read of December. But we'll talk more about that once I start reading. And um, yeah, rest of the day, I am definitely going to make some more puzzles because I'm I'm obsessed. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to chill out. I'm moving to the living room because it's a little bit chilly in here. And for some reason, the living room is always warmer while it's on the same side of the house. 
I don't get it. It's a mystery, but that's just how it works. Um, and I'll, I'll catch you guys later. Looky here, I got myself new PJs. So I saw these in the web shop the other day and then I went to find them last week and I didn't have them, but I went back today and now they had them and I'm so excited. So yeah, I'll be sure to wear these tonight. New cozy PJs.
Oi! That's just rude. Don't sit on top of my journal. Um. Okay. Thank you, Mitsuki. Thank you. Mitsuki's seal of approval. Yep. This is comfortable to sit on. I like it. Okay, friends, so I have just finished reading Abroad in Japan and it is such a, a beautiful book. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, to be honest, the ending actually kind of made me feel emotional. <laughs> reading everything he went through, like all of his insecurities, his anxieties and all of that which he overcame throughout the years. It is so, so inspiring. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. So this would actually have made a perfect book to start off your new year to get like these extra positive vibes but it's also pretty great to end my year with so a world in japan definitely a a great read for december this year um i really really enjoyed it and if you like his channel i can only recommend it and even if you don't know his channel but you're interested in japan and would like to read something that is like very motivational uh, I would still recommend it. So, great book. Honestly, really enjoyed it. Anyway, it is now time for my second read. I'm going to get it. Let's go. Got my read here on my desk. And this is the next one. Before the coffee gets cold. I'm really excited for this one. So, um, yeah, I'll start reading it. And I will talk about it a little bit later. Thank you. 
Hey friends, so this is like the final bit of this video. This is the final day I will be filming. And after that, I just want to let you know that I am taking a Christmas holiday break. So there won't be any videos for a couple of weeks. Uh, but I'll be back in January. But before I'm like really going to say goodbye and wish you happy holidays. I just wanted to talk a little bit more about um how it was like reflecting on the past year this month i was talking about like finding that fire again i think it is back it is definitely back to be honest i am really really excited for 2024 um i'm just going to like try to you know end this year in a more chill kind of way but i am ready to like get to work in the next year and just start working on all these different projects i have got in mind and i will definitely take you guys with me on that journey next year it's going to be super exciting and fun and cozy of course but the best thing is is that i'm like finally feeling that excitement and i was kind of missing that this year like obviously there were times when i really felt excited about things but most of the time it just it was kind of a blur this year was kind of a blur to me and um but when i think of 2024 now i just i just can't wait for the new year to start um usually i'm actually one of those people who always says like you don't need a new year in order to make a fresh start in your life it doesn't matter on what day you decide to to start a new chapter in your life but i have to say that after this year it feels kind of nice to like really say goodbye to 2023 and say hello to 2024 which is it's it feels as a new brand new start a fresh start for for better times that are ahead um so yeah let's just talk about some of the things i'm excited for in 2024 they're they're very modest things but one of the things i am super excited for is the release of final fantasy 7 rebirth i know it's not a cozy game but um I love Final Fantasy and especially Final Fantasy 7 and Remake is a game I've poured over 400 hours of my life in. That's how obsessed I am. And the sequel is finally coming out and they, uh, they started a countdown on their Instagram and uh, it was last Thursday when they said that it will only take 77 days for the game to release. It just kind of made this click in my head that I finally realized that the game is really coming out. It will be out on February 29th. So that's going to be such a cool start of 2024. Another thing I'm really excited for, which has been announced recently, is that the second season of Arcane League of Legends will come out at the end of 2024. I think it's going to be November. I'm really excited about that too. Again, not a cozy series, but I love it. And I cannot wait to see the next season. So, you know, it is small things like that that just make me think that 2024 can't possibly go wrong because there are so many cool things coming. And I think like those small things are the important things to keep in mind when you start a new year, when you make a new start in life. Just appreciate the little things, really. So maybe if you're not like in a very good headspace at the moment and you're like, oh God, 2024, I'm sorry, it's suddenly becoming very sunny. I'm like not feeling it. I'm not feeling 2024. I'm not feeling a brand new start. Um, just try to think of small little things that can make you feel like like you're starting something new just like maybe decide to go for walks a little bit more often decide to do yoga decide to take up a fun hobby or something it can make all the difference i think i already talked about this in one of my previous videos but it really it really changes everything and it will make your outlook on life just a whole lot more positive um also one thing i'm excited for in 2024 i have officially signed up for the 2024 edition of 30 days of yoga from yoga with adrian i did it last year too and it was such a wonderful start of my year and i'm excited to do it again and it just i think it's especially very good way to start your year because you're kind of forced to be disciplined right from the very start and it's kind of nice it's kind of nice and i think it's just it's, it's a healthy way to begin a new year in a very positive and healthy i already said healthy way but <laughs> anyway so that's another small thing i'm excited for 2024 um like i said i've got some really cool projects in mind but i'll talk about that way more in the new year so um that is it um i wish i could have read a little bit more already for this vlog to 
tell you more about about my december reads but i've uh started reading before the coffee gets cold this morning but i'm only like 10 pages in but i'm already enjoying it i'm very very intrigued in the first video after this one in january i'll definitely talk to you guys more about my december reads and my thoughts on them um, it could be that I might actually continue filming throughout the next few weeks and maybe just use them to like summarize my last few weeks in December and the first days of January. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm trying not to make too many plans for the rest of this year because I think it's important to just settle down a bit and really soak up the magic of the holidays. So that said, um, I'm going to, uh, after this, I'm going to read a little bit more and then I'm going to wait until it gets a little bit darker. Um, because once the sun sets, my sister and I are going to go for a walk and we are going to walk around the neighborhood to check out the Christmas decorations from our fellow neighbors. I hope they've done their best this year, but we'll see. And I'll take you guys with me, of course. Um, but yeah, in case I, I won't talk to you guys again anymore in this video, I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy, and most of all, cozy new year. I hope you'll have some amazing days, uh, whether it's with friends or on your own. Just, just make sure to stay cozy no matter what. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I just want to say thank you to every single one of you who have already subscribed to the channel. Initially, at the start of this year, it was my goal to have a thousand subscribers at the end of this year. But this year was weird. Um, and it didn't turn out that way. But we did manage to gather over 400 cozy friends before the end of this year and my new goal was 400 subscribers we are past that already so i want to say thank you so much for joining the cozy club i really hope that you will enjoy your stay here and every single one of you who already subscribed who has been with me for for a year or longer thank you so much for your ongoing support it really really means the world to me and um, I hope to see you guys again next year as well. So until we meet each other again, as always, stay cozy. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. So I needed to end this officially. Once more, happy holidays, cozy holidays, and stay cozy. And um, I'll see you guys in the new year.